Okay, so now we get to something a little bit more complicated, and that is brackets where it's not just an X plus an A, but there's actually something in front of the X as well. Let's call what's in front of the X A1 and um, this A2, and in my other bracket, instead of just having X plus B, let's say there's something in front of that X as well, let's call it b1 and the other the constant term inside the bracket b2 okay so what do we get when we multiply this out so let's do that long method again where we take this bracket and distribute it to every term inside the bracket in front it doesn't matter which way you do it around okay so let's take a 1x times b1 x plus b2 plus and then we distribute it to the second term giving me a2 b1x plus b2 okay now you'll recall our next step is to distribute we're simplifying so we must distribute everything that is multiplying a bracket now we get a1 times b1 x times x is x squared then a1 times b2 a1 times b2 times x and then here we have a2 times b1 x and then finally the last term is this plus a2 b2 okay now this time once again we see we get this middle term these two terms in the middle and they can be added together if I know what the product here is and I know what the product there is okay I just add those two numbers because they have both X's so in the end my answer comes down to this a1 b1 now this looks very technical and I'm sorry about that but it's going to help us a little bit in just uh, formulating the idea of how to factorize something um, into a bracket that looks like this looks very complicated but it should be easy in a little while okay a1 b1 oh, sorry b2 plus a2 b1 okay x plus a2 b2 okay there we go this one is quite a bit more complicated as you can see if I have to multiply out two brackets where the x term inside of the bracket has a coefficient other than one um, in the end we find that what comes in front of that x squared okay now there is the term the coefficient of the x squared is the product of a1 and b1 okay there you see when I multiply those two and for my last term is also quite easy to find that's just a2 times b2 okay so the x squared term is the product of this and that and the constant term here at the back is just the product of the constant terms in the bracket however this middle term is a little bit more tricky we see that here what we do is we multiply the a1 in other words the x coefficient with b2 with a constant and we multiply the x coefficient in the other bracket that's the b1 okay there's the b1 with the constant in the previous bracket that's the a2 and when we multiply those together this is what we get so let's just have a an example of that okay and you don't have to do it like this you can take the long method with these type of things that's okay okay so uh, let's make this 3x minus 2 okay so we said that for the x square the x and the constant term the x squares coefficient is the a1 b1 so this is a1 b1 a2 b2 2 times 3 gives me 6 for the constant term here at the back we take the negative 2 the b2 and the positive one the a2 so 1 times negative 2 gives me negative 2 for the middle term here I must take the a1 times the b2 that's negative 4 the a2 which is this second term times 
the b1 which is the f uh, coefficient of the first term in the second bracket so plus 1 and 3 gives me uh, multiplying then gives me 3 so I get negative 4 plus 3 gives me negative 1x and there we go this is the result I'll just write it neater 6x squared minus x minus 2 now obviously this is this is really maybe a confusing step but in order to go and factorize this again into two brackets this formula might just help me a little bit into finding out what must the a1 be that comes in front of the x what must the b1 be that comes in front of the x in the other bracket what is the constant term in the first um, bracket and what is the constant term in the second bracket well how are we going to find it well we know that in this case a1 times b1 must equal 6 and a2 times b2 must equal negative 2 and then if I take a1 times b2 and I add a2 times b1 I must get this middle term of negative 1 and how we're going to do this is we're going to use what we call the cross method okay and on the left hand side of the cross method we're going to put all the numbers that can give me 6 okay all the factors of 6 so we can have 1 times 6 or 2 times 3 on the other side we're going to put everything that can give me the negative 2 so you'll notice this is going to be our a1 this is going to be my b1 and on this side we're going to find a2 and b2 so a2 times b2 must give me negative 2 so I either have a 2 times 1 and on this side what we're also going to do is just swap them around as well I can have 1 times 2 and in the end I'm going to cross multiply so you'll see I'm going to take a1 times b2 okay, and get an answer and I'm going to take a2 times b1 and I'm going to get an answer and that answer is going to be added together like we said here a1 b2 a2 b1 when I add them together I must get negative 1 okay so what are we going to use okay, let's cross multiply and see which numbers will work I can have 1 times 1 gives me 1 and 6 times 2 gives me 12 and nothing I can do with these two can give me negative 1 okay so let's try 1 and 2 so I try 1 and 2 and 6 and 1 1 and 2 gives me 2 and 6 and 1 gives me 6 and nothing I do with these two numbers can give me negative 1 okay next up I'm going to scratch this this didn't work at all next up I'm using 2 and 1 2 and 1 gives me 2 3 and 2 gives me 6 okay nothing I do with 2 and 6 will give me negative 1 so this is definitely not going to work I tested it with both now now 2 and 2 if I take 2 and 2 I get 4 if I take 3 and 1 I get 3 and here I see to get negative 1 I must have a negative 4 and a positive 3 and now negative 4 positive 3 means to get a negative 4 I had to have said 2 times 2 but not just 2 times 2 2 times negative 2 to get a positive 3 I had to say 3 times 1 and the 1 must be positive so we notice that this becomes 2x plus 1 and 3x minus 2 2x plus 1 
and 3x minus 2. Okay, so what you'll notice is that this becomes my one bracket and that becomes my other bracket. Shall I do one more example? Okay, let's take 4x squared plus 2x minus 12. Okay, now I can draw my x and I know up here I'm going to put the factors of 4 on the left hand side. Okay, so how can I get 4? I can either say 4 times 1 or 2 times 2. On the right hand side I'm putting all the factors of 12. How can I get 12? could have said 12 times 1 or 6 times 2 or 4 times 3 and then I just repeat it again um, and having these at the top as well. So 3 times 4 or 6 times 2 or not 6 times 2, 2 times 6, 2 times 6 or 1 times 12. And then I'm going to test all of them and remember I'm going to cross multiply and this one tells me I have to subtract the two numbers and get 2. I have to subtract the two numbers and get 2. Well let's see if we try 4 and 1 gives me 4 1 and 12. Okay. When I subtract these two numbers I get 8 positive or negative depending on who I give the positive or negative 2. I don't want 8. Okay. So this one didn't work. Let's take 4 and 2. 4 and 2 gives me 8. 1 and 6 gives me 6. And here we see immediately we get the right one. Okay. We want positive 2. So 8 minus 6 will give me positive 2. So there I go this is going to be the correct factor. I didn't even need to use the others along with this one. If it didn't work I would have gone through all of them and then tried the second one. Okay, But it worked very soon so and when you do a few of these you'll see there's, there's ways in which you kind of see which answers is going to work and not going to work. Okay, But we notice that we want positive 8. How did we get the positive 8? We said 4 times 2. So the 2 will have a positive. Okay. Again, we see because of that negative, the two brackets have to have different signs. Okay. How did we get the negative 6? We said 1 times negative 6. And this now gives me my two brackets. Here they are. Okay. Here's my two brackets. The one bracket and the other bracket. So I get 4 x minus 6 and in the other bracket I get 1 x plus 2 and there we go a little bit more difficult but with practice it does become easier good luck